One of the most annoying things about the loop grid is how you can't apply some custom sorting or ordering based on the items you're pulling through to your loop grid. We are using the elemental loop grid here and it's dead easy to actually add some custom sorting into here using a code snippet. So if you're using a loop grid and you were using say posts or products you were feeding through as part of the query part of your loop grid, you'll notice over here we can order by various items and the most common ones are either the title or the date for instance and you might go A to Z or Z to A. But the moment you go and switch to current query you lose that facility. Why would you use the current query? Well if you're jumping over to a product or a post archive or a shop page you probably want your latest product so you're kind of going to go well so what it does the job. But if you then have say a link and you click a link and it takes you to a category template or a, a page for instance and you've got a loop grid on there you lose the facility and what happens is you get a very random order. Sometimes it's in date order but not necessarily all the time. Now here's what you do. We're going to drop in a code snippet. Now notice over here I've got the word custom order. Normally when you come over to your query there will be no query ID entered. Notice how the ordering of my item has changed. If I go and pop that word back in custom order it's now actually in the order I want it to do. So what you would do is go to your loop grid, put it on current query, go and give it a query ID of custom order. Then go over to your snippets in WordPress. I like to use the free code snippets plugin that you can get from the WordPress repository. It's free and simple and easy to use and I strongly recommend it. Go and click the link in the video description to go and get this code and what you'll do is just copy and paste it in. Now here's the things you may want to take into account. Over here it says custom order. If I go and change that name to be Pokemon, you would then make sure you stick Pokemon in the query ID. I've got custom order, that's what I'm going to use. And then I've specified to order by date and I've also specified down here to do it in ascending order. DESC if you want to do it in descending. You do also have the option to order by the title or the menu order as well. I only went for three options, date, title or menu order depending on how you added them into the first place in terms of uh, your categories or your posts or whatever you've got there. This will allow you now to order by the date in ascending order because I built mine in a date order. If you wanted to do date and title just go and get rid of the uh, backslashes over here and it will be enabled. So go and pick and choose what you want. So copy paste it in, make sure you take account of the code and then go and hit save changes and activate and that's basically it. So the facility is missing. I don't fully understand why it's missing and I hope in a future elemental update we do get it re-enabled but for now just go and stick that snippet in Go and pop in your query ID. Make sure you've chosen the particular sorting option. I've gone for date order in ascending and that's it. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.